Today we're going to be installing this Santoro front, not your daddy, crash bar. Also going to be adding the Baja S1s on it as well. Welcome back to another video. We're here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop once again. Today we're gonna to be installing this Santoro front, not your daddy, crash bar. Uh, but on top of that, we're also gonna be adding the Baja S1s on it as well. So I know you guys see everybody putting the S1s on the turn signals. I, I do like them there, but I kinda of wanna be a little different. And I wanna mount this in the bottom of the, the crash bar right here. Um, I think it'll look good, it'll look, look super, super clean. Um, but that's why we're here today. So Mike is gonna go over how we're gonna be doing this. Obviously, we're gonna be trying to keep this as clean as possible, right? So we're right. gonna, what, try to wire what's inside, or? Um, I'm gonna drill a hole in the crash bar first when we, for mounting that. We're gonna see how thick the material is. Yeah. Uh, then I'll decide if we're gonna tap the crash bar. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, so that way, if you guys wanna do the same project at home or at your local shop, you guys will kind of have an idea of what you're going to be dealing with. Uh, we are customizing and fabricating some stuff over here, right? Because the bracket that comes with the S1 technically doesn't belong on here. Uh, but Mike was able to... Or what, what did you do exactly? Well, everybody know. Um, just drilled a hole in the crash bar. And it was thick enough where we were able to tap it out. So we've created essentially a threaded hole in the crash bar. So. Ran a 516 bolt through there. Yeah, I think it's not moving anywhere. Yeah. So that was already on. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly is the other side and show you how it was done. In case you wanna go ahead uh, and do this at home or your local garage, what are they gonna need in order to do this? A few things. Well, really just uh, depending on what size bolt they're gonna use, correct size drill bits and the correct size tap that goes with the drill bit. To make the hole. To make the hole. Okay. Sweet. So basically, it's gonna be set up just like this. Boom. It's gonna be awesome. What is that, like a hole puncher? It's a center punch, an automatic center punch. Because if we put the drill bit in the drill on this round surface, it would just walk all over the place. So if we center punch it there, it puts a dimple in it so that we can... Uh, hole puncher. It's not a hole puncher. God damn it, Jerry. What are you doing with that? I'm just deburring the edge. The drill bit left a little bit of a burr at the top here. You can actually feel it. So I'm just taking that edge off. What's this thing called again? This is a tap. Tap. Five sixteenths? Five sixteenths. Well, we, that's what I did. I did a five sixteenths. Um, kit comes with a quarter twenty, so we used a five sixteenths because it's just the <clears throat> drill bits I had that lined up with the tap. Cut the five sixteenths. Uh, 5 16 18 thread in here so the bolt threads in. Um, kit comes with quarter 20s, so because I used the 5 16 I just have to open this hole up a little You're just gonna expand the hole then, right? Make it bigger? Yeah, just make it from a quarter to 5 16 And this is stainless, so. It's gonna smoke? It, it's a little harder to, to drill through stainless. The smoke's just from the WD 40.
one thing uh, that you guys should be knowing is that since these lights are gonna be flipped upside down, you have to take this cover off so you can read the whole Baja Design logo and it won't be upside down, so just flip it over just like that. So as far as putting the Santoro crash bar on, it's super easy. Uh, using the same holes where the original stock bar was at. Um, and it's a one, two, three thing to put on. That's what we didn't bother explaining it. But it's real simple. Uh, this is the Not Yo Daddy Santoro crash bar. This is the one that's made for, uh, for those of you guys that are running the side spoiler right here. Uh, don't get the regular one because it won't fit on it. You need to specifically get the CBO spoiler now your daddy crash bar for it. What do we have right here? Um, so, uh, on and off switch. Yeah, so the S1's coming a little on off switch. We're trying to figure out where to put it. It actually, if you do disassemble and knock out the guts of your cigarette lighter Which adapter there. I don't use at all, so I don't care. That sinks right in there. That's it. Because otherwise, if we didn't have this, we'd have to drill a hole, either on the Somewhere, fairing on the inside yeah. or put it in the inside pocket. Right, so we're going to just feed all this stuff in here. And uh, Nice, that worked out perfectly. Well, the wire's already uh, fed through through the, the bike as well. S1s are connected to the battery as well, so they turn on, show you guys afterwards. This will screw back together. Once inside the fairing, that's it. All right, so that was the install. Pretty, pretty easy for someone who knows what they're doing. Um, if you guys wanna go ahead and you wanna put the S1s on the Santoro crash bar, that's where you're gonna have to do it. I know a lot of people put the, put the S1s on the turn signal, but this is something that you obviously, you, you don't really see too much. I've seen it maybe once or twice, that was about it. Um, and I, I don't know, I, I prefer it down there. I think it kind of breaks it up. You got the, um, the LP6 is on top of here. These are super bright in the bottom. I'll turn them on for you in a minute and show you guys how it looks. But I think it just gives it a nice little breakup. And then while we we're, while were there, Mike went ahead also and changed out the turn signals, the stock ones, for the uh, custom dynamics, which kind of cleans everything up. Real nice and slim right here. Blacked out as well, so it kind of hides it in there. Um, that's also pretty easy to install. It's pretty much plug and play with that. Yeah, everything. they're plug and play. They pretty much pull the old turn signals off. Uh, bolt the new ones into the place. It does come with its own fasteners that you have to use. Yeah. Um, the only trick with that is they do powder coat their fasteners, the heads no of them. Thick. So you need to use metric sockets to put them back in because the standards don't fit. Yeah. But once you run them up, it comes with a little um, equalizer that just plugs in line and it's all plug and plug. Yeah. Um, Obviously, this was a custom job today. So, I mean, if you are in the local area, hit Mike up. I'm gonna be linking up all his description down below. But obviously, a custom job. We had to drill the holes into the uh, crash bar. Obviously, the S1s don't go there. Um, and then he did some more custom work right here, which uh, if you wanna explain what you did with the switch. Oh, okay, yeah. So the S1 kit comes with its own relays. They're powerful lights, so you can't, you cannot power the lights off of an accessory port on your bike or an accessory wire. So you have to run it straight to the battery. It's got a relay built in and then it comes with its own switch. So the switch really activates the relay and then the relay draws power from the battery to flip the lights on. So 
we found that it comes with a, a weatherproof round uh, switch. So we were able to, it's the same size as the cigarette lighter port. Yeah. So not the actual hole in the fairing, but the actual lighter port. So what I did was I knocked the guts out of that and hollowed it out. And I, we don't, I don't use it, I never use it, so I don't, I don't care. Yeah, so we were able to slip it right in there and, and it's a cool little toggle. Yeah, I mean, if you don't do that, you're gonna have to either drill a hole somewhere on the fairing. Or, or maybe you put it inside, put it inside the pocket. In the pocket. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it looks pretty cool where, where he placed it at. It's, it fit perfectly the way he did it. Yeah. Um, all custom, so yeah. Let's uh, uh, switch it on and show everybody yeah. how it looks. And then you want to hit the switch on there. Sick. Nice. Yeah, it came out nice. It, it cleaned everything up so yeah. much, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I had the chrome trash bar in the front, the round uh, top bar, and I already had the, the rear Santoro trash bar. It just, it wasn't, it was very, it, it didn't look good. Now I cleaned everything up nice. S1s with the Baja, with the LP6s on top. Custom dynamic turn signals as well, cleaned it up. Looks great. What uh, what do you think? Uh, uh, as, as far as the install and everything, did, did you find it difficult? Was it? No, it wasn't difficult. I mean, uh, you know how I am with wiring. I like to keep everything nice and neat. So it yeah. took me a little time to get the wires tucked away. The, the harnesses that come stock with it are super long. Yeah. So we did have to cut the harnesses back and shorten them, resolder the wires together and, and all that. Super happy with the way the whole bike kind of cleaned up in the front. Um, sick, man. Really, really sick. Drop your thoughts in comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the S1s on the Santoro crash bar. If you guys are interested in the Not Yo Daddy Santoro crash bar, I'm gonna be linking up the Santoro website down below, the Baja website down below, and then obviously Mike's information down below. So if you're in the local area, you wanna get some work done, you wanna get some parts, some cool parts for your bike, stop by, hit him up, all his information's gonna be there. Um, probably, probably got like a good 10 horsepower with this now. Yeah, yeah. And anytime you add something on, it adds on 10 horsepower. Especially lights. Especially lights. <laughs> That's gonna be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, at the Porsche with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.